For this tutorial, we will be reviewing how to install the Mojave Dry Vacuum System in an office setting. Remove the pump assembly from its packaging, then remove the tank assembly from its packaging. While unboxing, inspect both assemblies for shipping damage. Lay out the accessory kit near the associated assembly. These accessory kits can be found within the packaging. Place the pump in the chosen location. Each pump assembly comes with the hardware necessary to stack another pump or stack a single tank with the pump. Start by using the two and a quarter inch vent hose and connect the heat exchanger to the facility's exhaust vent line. The vent hose is provided in the pump accessory pack along with the hose clamps. At the same time, have the other installer connect the six foot BX cable from the Mojave electrical box to facility power, a single phase dedicated 230 volt 20 amp circuit. Next, place the tank in the chosen location and stabilize using the tank feet to secure tank to pump chassis and making sure it's level. Once everything is in place, one installer should work to connect the one and one half inch blue hose to the open floor or vented pipe drain. If there is a long run to the drain, you can use one and a half inch PVC pipe or purchase additional lengths of one and a half inch hose. In the meantime, the other installer should work on installing the washout solenoid on the back of the tank, making sure it is secure, and then connect the 3 8 inch poly tubing with the 1 half MNPT 3 8 inch push to connect adapter. This will connect the washout port on the top part of the tank to the water supply. Optional but suggested, attach the 3 8 inch tubing from the facility water to the washout solenoid. The 3 8 inch tubing is provided with the tank accessory kit. After that has been completed, connect the single pump tank outlet assembly while the other installer connects the quarter inch OD urethane tubing between the vacuum sample port and the vacuum inlet port of the master controller. While the one installer works on the connection between the tank outlet and pump inlet, the other installer should connect the RJ45 or CAT5 cable between the Mojave electrical box and the MMC. The CAT5 cable can be found in the pump accessory kit. Important. When using four wires in the ATI provided six volt switch, you get all remote status indications. When using three wires in the ATI provided six volt switch, you lose the yellow light used for code indications. Using any other switch and only connecting J13, note that no lights will work. When connecting the one and one half inch ID hose, be sure it is cut to fit between the barb connectors of the single pump tank outlet assembly and pump air inlet filter secure with two hose clamps. The next step is to install the drip leg assembly to the bottom of the facility vent. This can be easily installed by using the two inch flexible coupling adapter. After connecting the one quarter inch OD urethane tubing to the push connect elbow of the drip leg assembly, work with the other installer to place the other end of the tube in the open floor or vented pipe drain. Please note the drain line should be a short run with a minimum slope of one quarter inch for every 10 feet toward the drain. Avoid any sharp right angle bends. To ensure that there are no sharp angle bends, it is best to move the Mojave as a team to a more convenient location and to do so before cutting the final tubing. Begin by installing one connector adapter to the pipe from the operatory. Measure and connect the one and a half inch ID blue hose cut for installation between the operatory suction line and tank inlet and secure both ends with hose clamps. Meanwhile, the other installer can power the MMC by plugging in the IEC power cable to facility power. The IEC cable can be found within the tank accessory kit. Thank you for taking the time to review this video on our Mojave Dry Vacuum. If you have any other questions about this product, please contact us at 800-247-8324.